health get a much lower price that is still good for MetLife and good for the tenants. Second, Fannie and Freddie have loan programs for the tenants. If tenants need help in terms of buying their apartments, those who might want to do so, Fannie and Freddie can provide loans for them at a much lower interest rate than they might be able to get conventionally. And third, Fannie and Freddie have specific programs to help certain civil employees stay in their homes, whether it's on Long Island, Westchester, or now here in New York City. We need firefighters in this city. We need teachers in this city. We need policemen in this city, policemen and women. And Fannie and Freddie have programs, very low interest rate loans, to help people like that stay here. And they might even be expanded for other kinds of people here as well. So those are the three things that Fannie and Freddie can do. Third, fourth, I'm going to ask Secretary Jackson at HUD to ensure any loan taken out by a consortium of tenants. HUD does this for projects all over the country, including middle class projects. Sometimes the interest rate can be low as 1%. You combine what Fannie and Freddie do with what HUD can do, and it is clear that the tenants in this, this wonderful place will be able to get a loan, and a loan that's affordable. And finally, oh, two other things. You've heard of Section 8 vouchers. HUD has used other types of vouchers to help people stay in buildings under unusual circumstances such as this. And we will try to craft a program like that that will help people who might not qualify for Section 8, this would be particularly apply to seniors, be able to stay here and live their lives as well. And finally, something called gap financing. If for some reason the package that Dan and Christine and everyone here has put together doesn't quite meet the market needs of MetLife, and again, we're asking them to understand our needs. There's something called gap finance, and I'll be exploring with the Senate appropriators the ability to do that as well. All six of these are real possibilities that make a tenant buyout a much more likely thing to happen. We're going to be pursuing all of them, and I pledge to the residents of Stytown, of Peter Cooper Village, to Dan, to Christine, and this great team assembled here, my unremitting support until we get that win-win-win. Win for the tenants, win for middle-class housing in the city, and even a win for MetLife.